Welcome to Automate 2024. Here we have a small transmission housing that we're imaging with our snapshot sensor. The benefits of fringe projection versus our line profile technology is that the part does not need to move, nor does the imaging system. So you could mount this to the end of a robot, drive it in place, scan your part, move the robot out, or if you have a indexing conveyor that stops motion, you can image the part when it arrives. Next, we have our laser line profiler looking at a PCB. In this case, the PCB is moving on the stage under Underneath the line profiler, which is generating a series of line images and integrating them across the part to give you the 3D image. We've got our overlay of our intensity image here as well, so you can see the text on this label. Uh, if you were needing to measure the label position or relative to the label or a fiducial target on that label, you could do that as well as using the 3D data. You also see some tools deployed here as well as our tool chain. 160 tools built into our sensors you can use to customize your application, deploy it either on the sensor or transfer that information to a PLC for decision making. Last, we have the G5000 series sensor, white light confocal sensor, completely different technology, splitting the wavelengths of white light to generate a height map. You can see that it's scanning this cannula, which is a very shiny metallic object. Difficult sometimes for laser technologies to image shiny metallic objects, but not a problem for a white light confocal system. Ultra high resolution, high speed. It's also using our GoPixel software and displaying the UI functionality and dashboard. LMI offers a wide range of sensor options. We have three different snapshot options, almost 80 different line profiler options, three different white light confocal options. With our line profilers, we've got a sensor for every job and for every budget. Our software is easy to use, easy for an engineer to configure a recipe and then deploy that either directly on the sensor or through the PLC. We offer an emulator package, which allows you to download the content of any of these sensors, the images stored, replay them on your PC, while adjusting your tool set to optimize the process that you wish to measure. And then you can redeploy that back to the sensor without interrupting the sensor's operation online. So what we have here today is we have a large field 2600 series GoCater scanner. It's a laser profiler. It's got a two meter wide field of view, about 100 microns of resolution in X uh, near field. What we're showing is the ability and the versatility of having a single large field scanner over multiple surface areas and performing accurate 3D scanning. So the first scan that we make is over the top of the box or bin of fruit that shows the apples, oranges. We have the ability to sort those by type of fruit. And then from there, showing the two meter wide scan of our side of beef carcass and accurately being able to depict that and present that into downstream equipment for additional processes. Single scanner, large field of view, high resolution, and multiple applications to be solved with a single configuration in the unit. Performance, speed, accuracy, and repeatability reliability, support long-term. We've been around since the 70s, right? So if you bought a GoCater when we released it back in 2009, 2010, we still support that same product. You can go up to our website and download an active version of firmware to run on that product free of charge. We have over 100 different models, anywhere from 10 millimeter wide field of view and a single micron of resolution out to two meters wide, everything in between, and you inherently get volumetrics because of the Z data that's provided in each scan. You've got all the industrial networks, Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP, ASCII over Ethernet, and Profinet come standard on every GoCater we make. We have a uh, multi-model ring layout, and here we have a piece of wood showing multiple intensities where you can use the same exposure setting for the different styles of wood, just one job file throughout. We have mixed model, meaning we have a 2640 on the top end where we need a little less resolution, and a 2630 on the tongue and groove portions of the boards where we need a little more resolution. We're showing on the right side here the point cloud being output and some example measurements that you might have for this type of application where you want the width and height. All of this and the data throughout is being run on the GOMAX right there, meaning this is completely done on the edge. On the top left, we're showing our two pipelines that we have for our AI solutions group, an anomaly detector in the top left and an object detector on the top right. These two pipelines are running simultaneously. You don't have to wait for one and then the other. On the bottom left, we're showing our Go Factory demo, which indicates some historical data from these inferences being run on the gadget. The gadget itself is running on a GOMAX as well. So this is running on the edge and in the cloud for this demo. This ring layout was set up on site using an alignment artifact. The alignment artifact is just a rectangular bar we had machined for this show. What makes LMI unique in the marketplace is our ability to generate transforms for each sensor automatically based on this alignment artifact. We'll place it in the field of view of all the sensors, configure the bar's properties, click align, and it's ready to go.